2015, the world community met in Paris and vowed to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius over pre-industrial levels. Global warming is driven by the man-made release of CO2 emissions and other greenhouse gases, and nearly one quarter of the world's CO2 emissions come from transport. A radical reduction in emissions from the transport sector is therefore crucial to prevent catastrophic climate change, as agreed in Paris. The movement of passengers and goods on roads is responsible for approximately three quarters of all transport emissions. Today, there are some 1.3 billion cars, trucks, buses, and other vehicles in operation. And by 2040, the number of vehicles is expected to grow to 2 billion. Up to this year, transport demand is also expected to triple. Addressing this anticipated growth in the size of the transport sector, while also meeting climate goals, will be a major challenge for governments in the years ahead. Governments have been implementing a wide range of measures to make transport more sustainable, and there is good reason for this diversity of policy measures. In addition to improving the efficiency of vehicles and fuels, we need to promote a shift from carbon-intensive to climate-friendly mobility solutions and avoid travel demand. To be sure, you cannot manage what you cannot measure. Good data are thus essential for governments to make informed policy decisions. In the transport sector, governments monitor and record transport sector emissions by performing so-called emission inventories. This also helps them to fulfil their national and international reporting requirements. The system used to track GHG emissions is usually referred to as a Measurement, Reporting and Verification System, or MRV for short. In this course, we introduce you to the MRV concept and demonstrate how the measuring and reporting of emissions works on a practical level. We will also teach you how to develop emissions scenarios. This will enable you to calculate the emissions pathways resulting from policies for climate-friendly transport. In short, completing this course will empower you to calculate GHG emission levels and prioritise policy measures for decarbonising transport systems. Welcome to the MRV Online Course for Transport.